written your first Java program. And now it's time to take a peek behind the curtain. Today we are exploring how a Java program works. Remember, when you write a Java program, you write it in a .java file. This is a text file which contains your source code. But computers do not understand this code directly. They need the code in a language which only they can understand. That's basically where the Java compiler comes in. The Java compiler takes your .java file and translates it into a .class file. This file contains the bytecode, a special kind of code that's not quite this machine code, but not quite the source code either. And here's where the magic begins. The JVM that we call as the Java Virtual Machine takes this byte code and translates it into the machine code. Now this is the machine code which your computer can understand. The beauty of this process is that it makes Java platform independent. You can write your Java program on a Windows machine. Compile it simply into a byte code and then you can run this byte code on any machine that has a JVM. It can be Linux, Mac or something else. Let's see this in action. Yo, we just now wrote this hello world program. If you can see, this code has got saved in .java extension. Now, as soon as you click on this run, button, what happens is Java Eclipse IDE basically does all the processing behind it. Now, these processes are something which might not be seen directly. But be rest assured, they are happening in the background. Eclipse streamlines these processes to make it easier for developers to write and run their code. If you still want to see the .class file in Eclipse, you can find them in the bin folder. Let's quickly go ahead and check this. I'll simply go in my C drive and over here in users. Over here, I'll simply go and select Eclipse Workspace. Now, remember, this is the same directory which we have chosen while installing our Eclipse. Now, this is the project that we had maintained and inside this, there is a bin folder. Let's quickly go and click on this Java program. Can you see this? We have this hello world program, but just see its file type. It is the .class file. Now, if you want to run your .class file outside of Eclipse, you can simply do it by using the Java command in the command line, as long as you have the JRE installed. That's all about it. In the next section, we'll start exploring the building blocks of Java, that is variables and data types. So stay tuned with us.